Here we go with my very first unboxing video. A little bit excited. Um, uh, I'll give you a quick look at what I'm up to first. So there's my boxes just arrived in two deliveries. Uh, this box down here uh, came by separate courier because it's got two very powerful batteries in it. So what I'm doing here is I'm in the process of um, decking out and converting a 20 foot shipping container into uh, a new kitchen and lounge area. Anyway, back to, uh, back to the stuff that's got me excited today. First off, I'm gonna say, this box, when I picked it up, I thought, really? 200 amp hour batteries. So I'm impressed already that they're so light. Oh yeah. Lots of unboxing. Box within a box. Should just point out, uh, yesterday, I uh, started putting down this parquet flooring. Um, it's got tar on the back. I just glued it down, give it a sound, just a quick sound up to see uh, see how it's gonna look. I think it's gonna look fantastic. Anyway. Ho, ho, ho. Connection bolts. Guidelines, some kind of other stuff. Unbelievably light. So you got it. 12.8 volt, 100 amp power is unbelievably light. Let's not take their word for it though. Let's see what we've got. So straight on the multimeter. We've got 13.1 volts. Utterly these. What's that about then? Bit of superfluous. Anyway, let's keep going. So I've got two of those. No less exciting, the all-in-one solar inverter charger. Nice bit of cabling. amp inline fuse. Now 
we go. Solar inverter charger from Ecoworthy. Um, I have no experience with them. I've done uh, two little solar installs before. Uh, much more basic, much smaller. Uh, so, what can I say? I've got some reading to do. <laughs> right, just pop that away. And go for one of the big boxes. Nice new shiny panels. Got six of these. They are, let's see what we've got from the back here. All right, 170 watt monocrystalline, max power uh, 19 volts, open circuit 23, max power 8.95 amps, short circuit 9.38. 9.39 amps weight 8.9 kilos overall size um, just over a meter one meter 11 centimeters and 770 wide by 35 deep nice so we've got six of those One of those and two of those. So that's a thousand and some watts for the roof. I believe that's a 60 amp controller um, with a three kilowatt inverter in there as well. Uh, it can also uh, have shore power or you know, just plug it into the mains, that will also take care of the batteries. Can't wait to get it plugged in uh, and find out what I've got in this menu. Will it give me all the info that I need? Or I'm really tempted at this point, let's find out first if I need it or not, um, to put um, a Bluetooth shunt on here. So uh, I think about going for the Vitron one We'll see if it's necessary. This is about 100 quid. And it will give me all the information I need on the state of the battery charge, whether it's charging, how fast it's discharging. It'll tell me how many hours I have left in the storage. Anyway, with these two hooked up together, it's gonna to give me a 24 volt system into a three kilowatt. Um, I'm gonna run a fuse box off it for um and knock knock it down to, well yeah knock the 24 down back down to 12 a little dc dc inverter to go from 24 down to 12 and then that will power my lighting like usb outlets and various other bits and bobs like water pump and stuff um what i wanted to do is power my fridge 
and we'll see how it goes from there. Um, anyway, super excited. Check back in a week or so. Um, I will have made some progress. I'm not saying that it'll all be up and running because uh, I'm a bit busy. <laughs> quite, quite, a few, quite a lot to do around here and uh, other stuff to take care of as well. Um, okay. Just a quick word um, with my current subscribers, um, people who tune back into the channel. This has got nothing to do with motorbikes, correct. Um, I will be out and about on the bike. Uh, the weather's been lousy and um, inspiration is low. Uh, anyway, loads of stuff to, uh, to deal with on this. Like I say, I will be um, back on the bike having little adventures from time to time. Um, but I'm not gonna switch names. I'm gonna keep the channel running uh, as it has done perhaps a bit busier, <laughs> um, but it's going to be um, a, a, a mix-up, a mash-up of um, converting a shipping container. I'm currently thinking of getting another container um, into which uh, three quarters of it will be dedicated to bike and workshop and the other quarter, third perhaps, um, shower room. Uh, it's a 20 foot long by 8 foot wide by 8 foot high steel box with lockable doors. I just can't think of a safer way to keep your motorbikes and all your tools and kit. So don't go away, stick with me. Um, yeah, there was, there's going to be more bike stuff and bike related stuff, but right now this is my focus. Cheers for now.